Hello everyone. Welcome to the world of data structures. Our today's topic is MBA search tree and B tree. Hi, this is your instructor Janice Shah. Let's begin with the today's outline. Students, today we are going to learn about the first we'll see MBA search tree. Then we'll talk about B tree. After the understanding of B tree, we'll see properties of B tree and the last topic of today's lecture is aim and application of B tree. So let's begin with MV search tree. So MV students MV stands for multi way search tree. Now tell me what do you mean by binary search tree? Okay, usually say that sir when a tree contains maximum two nodes then it is known as binary tree. And if you insert a data or delete a data in an ascending order in tree where the smallest value are situated on the left side and the greater value are situated on the right side then our tree is known as binary search tree. So students in binary search tree we have only two ways to search the values but here it is m way search tree which means multi way search tree where you can search your values in more than one ways. Okay, let's see. First, MV search tree, or we can say a multi way search tree, is defined as a tree which have more than two children. Okay, see here it contains more than two children, it means what? See, if your tree contains maximum two children, then it is known as binary tree or binary search tree, and here. In MV search tree, it must contain more than two children. That's why it is known as MV search tree, where each and every node contains multiple values, multiple pointers. Okay. See, it works similar as binary search tree, where where smaller values are on the left side and the greater values must be situated on the right side. Now, next we have it contains more than two children. Where if we talk about the M way search tree of order M, then it must contain M minus 1 values. So a question coming in your mind that sir, what do we mean by order? Students, if you remember by the previous lectures, I usually told you that number of children is equal to number of orders. Number of children is equal to number of orders. Now tell me each node contains in binary search tree maximum children are. 2 that means the order of binary search tree is 2 fine okay so here the order is m that means you have you have m children in each node so students see in binary search tree we have order 2 and each node contains how many values only one value so if you can say that sir if order is 2 then we can store one value if order is 3 then we can store 2 values if order is 4 then we can store 3 values so it's depend on the order of the tree that how many values can be inserted in each node fine so here we just assume that our tree contains order m so students we can store m minus 1 values in that node that means that node has m minus 1 children okay next in short, we can say a tree that contains multiple values, multiple pointers that is known as M way search tree. Okay. Now, let's move towards the next topic that is M way search tree. Okay. See here, the all values, what happens in M way search tree students? All values are inserted or stored in a order way, like in ascending orders. Okay. If order has M, if you have order M, then each node contains M minus 1 values. So here students remember always this that number of order, number of order is equal to number of pointers is equal to number of child, number of degree, number of orders and number of subtrees. These all five things are equal to each other. If I ask you that what are the number of subtrees sub -trees for order M, for order M number of degree Okay, number of degree is M, number of subtree is M, number of child is M, number of pointer is M. 
okay but how many values you can store in that node so sir that is m minus 1 okay so students if you can store three values then order must be 4 if you can store five values then order must be 6 okay if you can store seven values then order must be 8 so always remember order number of child number of degree number of subtrees and number of pointers these all things are same and equal to each other fine so let's take the example of MVSH3. Here my order is M and the values are M minus 1. I'm taking the example of order 5 and values can be inserted maximum 4. So here it is. See the representation of MVSH3 node. Students, usually you just seen that the node contains only one values and two pointers, but here the node contains four values and five pointers so the values are 20 55 70 and 80 so here we have four values 20 55 70 and 80 that means this node contains four values okay the capacity of the node is four only why because it is of order five it is written over here you can see it is written over here that order is five and values can be maximum store four that's it not an issue so what about the next we can say students here only maximum four values can be stored but just focus on the node just focus on the node that each values are so stored in a ascending order see first is 20 then we have 55 then 70 okay so what is going over here here each and every values are stored in a ascending order okay that is multi-way search tree now now if you focus on the pointers okay see we usually say that the left pointer should point on the lesser values and right pointer should point on the greater values. So students, here this left pointer, here this left pointer is pointing to the values, okay. 20 left pointer is pointing to the values which are lesser than 20. So child contains the values lesser than 20. Now see, see the child, child has three values, 5, 15 and 18, okay. Now next we have the middle term of between the 20 and 55 see the pointer place between 20 and 55 must contains the values greater than 20 less than 55 again i am repeating the sentence the pointer in between of 20 and 55 must contain the values greater than 20 and less than 55 so here it is so this pointer is pointing to 26 and 48 both values are greater than 20 and less than 55 Okay, so what about the next? See, the next we have the pointer between 55 and 70. 55 and 70. So here the pointer must point to the values greater than 55, less than 70. So here it is, the node contains 58 and 65. Okay, now we still have two pointers remaining because it's order 5, so it must contain 5 pointers. So here students, if you can say that, the pointer between 70 and 80 must point the values, values greater than 70 and less than 88. So it, the values are 70 and 82 are in between of 70 and 88. Now the values greater than 88 must be set on the right side of the 88 that is 98. Fine. Now the question should come in your mind that sir, sir here the root node contains 4 values. but the rest of the child node contains 3, 2 or 1 values. Okay. Why? Why you are writing like this? Okay. So the answer is students that here you can store maximum 4 values. It is not like that you cannot store the values lesser than 4. Okay. So here the root node is full. So I can store maximum 4 values. Then the other than the values of the root nodes can be stored in each child node. So the how the insertion can be begun we will see later. So here up to now you can say that the value smaller should be on the left side, greater should be on the right side. Now here I have another values. See, here it is. Okay. So in the values lesser than 15 are on the left side of the 15, greater than 15 and between 18 are on the right side of the 15. Same like that the values between 58 and 65 should come in the from the middle pointer and so students the values between 65 and 78 should be on the left side of 78 okay 
So here the values on the left side of the 78 are 66, 68 and 69. Okay. So this is known as MBAS search tree. Now, now let's search something and I will show you that how you can search the values in such type of tree. So here it is. Suppose students, if I want to search 68, then always remember you have to begin your search operation from the root node. So here the root node contains 20, 55, 70 and 88. Okay. So what I am going to do is, I am just searching my 68 values with the first root node disk. That is 20, then 55, then 70. So here I just found the nearest value of 68 that is 70. So the values lesser than 70. The values lesser than 70 should be on the left side of 70. So I just go through that link. Okay. You can see the highlight link. I just go through that link and focus on 58 and 65. Okay. So here again, I'm just comparing 68 and 65. Obviously, 68 is greater than 65. So I should search on the right side of 65. So here it is. This is the right side of 65. I'm going to search over there and where I am finding out 68 and here it is I just get value 68 so 68 is now found so such like this your search operation can begin in Amway search tree fine so using of this Amway search tree okay always remember the concept of Amway search tree that it contains multiple values multiple pointers and each node contains the values in ascending order so let's begin with the next topic that is B tree. So here it is B tree. So students, B tree is a type of tree in which each node contains multiple values and multiple pointers. Okay. Again, multiple values and multiple subtrees. Okay. Multiple values and multiple child. So, so why are you just changing your statement? Sometimes you told us that multiple values, multiple pointers, multiple values, multiple subtrees, multiple values, multiple child. Why? Because subtrees, child and pointers, all three things are same over here. Okay. So, suppose if in your computer there are a number of disks, okay, where the, your data has been stored. Okay. So, what you need to do is you just need to find out or search out the data or you need to fetch out data from the disk. So, how that searching operation can be done or how the insertion and deletion operation can be performed on such type of disk that we need to understand by using the concept of B tree. Okay. Next we have B tree is a capable to store large number of keys in single node. Here recently we can say that students in a single node we can store multiple values. In a single node in the previous example we can store multiple values. So B tree is a specialized type of ambassador tree. That's why before starting with the B tree, I am just I just give you the overview of ambassador tree. Okay. Next, B tree. Students, B tree has multiple values and multiple pointers. Suppose if we have order M, then it must contains M minus 1 values. Suppose M is equal to 4 students, that means each node store maximum 3 values. If M is equal to 4, that means each node can store maximum 3 values. So students, here we have the properties of B tree. I am going to show the properties of B tree for the order M B tree. Okay. So, the first property is that all elements should store in ascending order. Okay. Next, the values stored in left subtree of VK should be lesser than VK and the values stored in the right subtree of VK should be greater than VK. So, what do we mean by VK? So, does VK that means a value or key value. If we talk about in binary search tree that the values if the root node or the node contains the value 68, then the all values on the left subtree should be lesser than 68. All values on the right subtree should be greater than 68. So here, this VK's two lines of VK are used to say same as the binary search tree insertion deletion operation. Okay. So what we need to do is that all values must be in ascending order. That's why the lesser value should be on the left subtree and the greater value of VK should be on the right subtree of VK. Now, next we have all subtrees pointed by any node are also B tree of order M. See, if you remember the definition of AVL tree, that the second line is that the condition is that all subtrees must be AVL tree. 
same like that here we can say that that all sub trees pointed by node are also b tree of order m next we have that all if node must be at the same level see here here in b tree after each and every insertion or deletion operation if the situation is like that the rules are there to make the tree balance so there is no possibility that your tree height is unbalanced here each and every time after each and every operation all leaf nodes should be at the same level okay next suppose if you have root node so students these are these are the points or these are the rules that you need to understand for the insertion of b tree so these all properties are very much important for any operation on b tree whether it is insertion or deletion so what we need to understand that here if our node is root node students if our node is root node then then the minimum subtrees are 2 and maximum subtrees are order m sir what does it mean see minimum subtrees is equal to 2 that means minimum pointers minimum child must be 2 okay and the maximum child maximum pointer must be m okay now next is next property is see if the node is equal to is equal to internode that means your if your node is not root node not leaf node it is internal node then then students that minimum subtrees are ceiling of m by 2 ceiling that means if m is equal to 5 5 by 2 becomes 2.5 the ceiling value of 2.5 is 3 okay so for order 5 for order 5 in internal internal node students the minimum subtree must be 3 and maximum subtree must be 5 okay now the last is if the node is leaf node if the node is leaf node then the minimum values are ceiling of m by 2 minus 1 please take a note and pen and write down these all things for root node for leaf internal node and for leaf node students so for leaf node the minimum values are ceiling of m by 2 minus 1 okay sir why you didn't write like a uh, minimum subtrees or maximum subtrees in leaf node because leaf node does not contain any child node that means does not have any subtrees any pointers any child okay the degree of the leaf node is zero that's why here i am not going to talk about the subtrees but instead of subtrees i say the minimum values to be there in leaf node is ceiling of m by 2 minus 1 now the next we have the aim and application of b tree so why we are using this b tree b tree maximize the number of disk access for accessing the records okay and then the b tree is used b tree is used to index the data and provide the fast access to actual stored data okay what happens over here students in one disk or in one node we can store the multiple disk okay so that's why the searching capacity and the insertion and deletion capacity become increasing okay another point is that if if your searching is unindexed or unsorted data is there suppose if you do not have any sorted data same as b tree okay then your in worst case the time capacity becomes o of n but if you have b tree then your time capacity becomes o of log n which is lesser than the previous one that's why we are using b tree okay so that's it for today's lecture. Thank you so much students.